And yes, this is your host, Scott Free, with In My Opinion. On today's show, I actually want to talk to you, um, to all my YouTubers out there, uh, about basically what's going on. I just learned, um, shout out to my boy, Angry um, Angry Man. I just learned um, on one of, looking at one of his videos that actually his girlfriend was talking about um, how the illegals, um, immigrants, coming to this country is um, basically getting um, uh, housing um, grants um, through the banks. Um, now, I actually am very disturbed about this uh, because, in my opinion, um, we've actually, our community has been here for over 400 years in this country, and basically the banks actually make it a point, in my opinion, and allegedly to make sure that they deny us any type of home loan or anything like that. And then to find out um, on the Anger Man show, <coughs> excuse me, that there's people coming in this country that's not even qualified to be in this country that's getting housing grants and housing programs from our banks, which these banks have been getting uh, bailouts. Um, and it just it just roused me up to no end after I've actually heard that on um, on a segment of one of his videos. Um, and the angry man was actually talking about his girlfriend basically told him this. Um, so I understand why he's pissed off because I'm pissed off now. Um, <clears throat> and in my opinion, I think all of us need to get get together. We need to actually see what banks is actually gr granting these these loans or these home loans for people who's not even legally um, eligible to be here, and we need to go after them. We really do. Uh, it's time for the black community to stand up. Okay, it's time for us to get these get these people this this stuff in order. It's time to get class action lawsuits and start flooding the courts with them. Okay, because this is this is something that. I consider as a legal a legal scholar as selective selective discrimination um, when you have people in this country like I said come over in this country and able to get loans for houses and we actually have people living in our streets that can't get a loan they are working they are have they have some of them have businesses but yet these banks make it a point to deny us any type of loans okay so I need to get out. I'm coming up on here on this um, on my show called In My Opinion to let everybody know on YouTube, especially the black community, that they, we need to we need to get together. Okay, this is going too far. We need to start flooding this course with class action lawsuits. Okay, this is selective discriminations. Okay, and there's no point since our tax dollars basically went out to bail out these banks. Okay. And now these banks turn around and basically give give loans for homes to people who's not even not even allowed. I mean, not even legally um, here, here, you know, as citizens. It doesn't make any sense. And I'm actually at this point, I am outraged <clears throat> as a legal scholar and as a black community activist. Um, Something needs to be done. We need we need to start charging these banks and anybody else who's actually given, you know, gr giving free grants and stuff like that to people who's not even legally able to be here. Okay, no no uh, discrimination with you know with any immigrants that's here. Um, but at this point, I'm like angry man. I can give a shit. Okay, I am pissed off learning that because something needs to be done. We need to start flooding these courts. I don't give a damn whether the state or federal. We need to start flooding these courts with our class action lawsuits. Okay? Because this is this is I'm sorry to say this is bullshit. Alright, we got our fam we got families living in streets underneath bridges. We got veterans living in, in bridges, under bridges, and in these streets. Okay? It doesn't make any any goddamn sense for people to come over here illegally. And we got citizens up here that's suffering. Struggling, small businesses struggling. Can't get a can't get a small business loan from the SBA. Okay, you know we we some of us are competing on these these programs for federal contracts, and we get bid out. Okay, because once they learn that we are small business, black business, they consider it quote unquote unquote 
competitive. It's not competitive. It's bullshit. It's another way of saying that we don't basically legally we are we can shut you out. Okay, this is bullshit. And it's time. And I think Donald Trump need to actually step up his game as a businessman because I am a businessman and do something about it. Okay, this administration needs to come out and do something about small businesses suffering out here. We're suffering. And we got illegals out here getting free programs for homes that we are actually, some of us are living in the damn streets. Doesn't make any damn sense, okay? Black people, we need to get together. We need to start stand up, file petitions in courts. Any bank that we find that's actually been given these programs, which I know for a fact after they see this aired, they're probably going to try to do damage control, try to hide shit. That's what they do. To make sure that we don't find out basically what banks have been given these programs. We should we need to find out. Okay? We need to contact the FDIC, you know, the federal government. Because if this is the case, we need to rise up. Alright? We got too many damn families that's struggling living in the damn streets, and we got people coming over here that's getting a free ride off of our tax dollars. What kind of shit is that? Alright, this is your <clears throat> this is your host. Like I said, I'm like the angry man right now. I'm pissed. Okay, after a segment of his show and I seen that, shout out to my boy Angry Man. I'm with you, bro. But this is bullshit. We need to start flooding these courts with class action lawsuits. We need to stand the <clears throat> we need to start standing the fuck up. Because this is this is going on too far. And we got people out here driving on these roads with no license, no insurance and shit. But yet the cops don't stop them. They cop they they stop us. All right. They got tags that's you know out, out you know out out for years and shit, but they don't get stopped. We get stopped. Ain't that a bitch? All right. So stay tuned for my next show. In my opinion, this is your host Scott Free. Like I said, I'm trying to still trying to work on getting my music segment back up. I will get it back up, but but in the meantime, this is my show. In my opinion, I'm going to bring it to you raw. All right. I'm going to bring it to you uncut and raw. Right here on the Sounds of Sunday. Later.